we're asked to solve the equation, we're asked to solve the given equation using the construction and deconstruction story, also referred to as the story of the variable or the story of x. The first step will be to write the construction story for the equation, then write the deconstruction story, which will give us the steps that we will use to solve the given equation in this third column. So to begin with the construction story, we always start with the variable, which in this case is z. Now looking at the left side of the equation, notice how we have the quantity z minus three and then divided by five. So the first step in the construction of the equation is subtract three from z. So step one in the construction of the equation is subtract three. If we subtract three from z, this gives us the expression z minus three. And then because this quantity is divided by five, step two in the construction process is divide the difference by five, or just divide by five. If we divide this difference by five, we now have the expression the quantity z minus three divided by five. Then two is added to the quotient, which means step three is add two. So if we add two to this quotient, we now have the expression the quantity z minus three divided by five plus two. Because we have equals three, we know the result of performing these operations on the variable is three. So we say the result is three, which gives us the final equation, the quantity z minus three divided by five plus two equals three. And now we need to deconstruct the equation to solve the equation. To form the deconstruction story, we reverse these steps and also perform the opposite or inverse operations in order to undo each step. So notice that step three is add two, which means to deconstruct the equation or to write the deconstruction story. Step one is going to be to undo or perform the opposite operation of adding two which is subtract two. The previous step in the construction was divide by five, which means step two in the deconstruction story is the operation that will undo dividing by five, which means step two of the deconstruction story is multiply by five. And then the last step in the deconstruction story is the opposite operation of the first step in the construction story. To undo, subtract three, we would need to add three. So step three in the deconstruction story is add three. And now we will perform the operations of the deconstruction story on the given equation in order to solve the equation. So we begin with the given equation. And the first step is to subtract two on both sides of the equation. So minus two on the left, minus two on the right. Now we simplify. On the left, plus two minus two simplifies to zero. We now have the quantity z minus three divided by five is equal to three minus two is equal to one. Step two is to multiply both sides of the equation by five. On the left side, Multiplying by five and dividing by five undo each other. Well, if we want, we can think of this as five over one times this fraction, and five divided by five simplifies to one, leaving us with z minus three on the left. On the right, one times five is equal to five. And finally, the last step is to add three to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, minus three plus three simplifies to zero. We have z equals on the right side, five plus three is equal to eight. The solution to the equation is z equals eight. But let's go ahead and verify this by substituting eight for z in the original equation to make sure that it satisfies the equation, meaning the left side of the equation is equal to the right side when z equals eight. So performing the substitution, we would have the quantity eight minus three divided by five plus two equals three. On the left side, eight minus three is equal to five. We have five divided by five plus two equals three. 
5 fifths or 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 equals 3 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.